All right, we're getting back on the vise right here. Getting close to being done. We've got one slot that we've got to mill here. And after we mill that slot, we've got to drill the cross holes through it, okay? So I'm setting it up now to, to uh, get the slot milled in it. All right, <clears throat> I've already got the center. I already found the center of it just to speed things up here. Uh, using a half inch edge finder and the digital readout, we, we came to the center in our starting position. All right, I've got this Jacobs chuck in the collet here. Uh, we're just gonna use that. I'm gonna drill a center. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna use an end mill holder and a half inch drill bit and drill a hole all the way through there uh, to create a start point for the mill so I don't have to plunge the end mill and then we'll do our milling, okay? So here's a, here's a peek at the drawing right here. So this is the vise, if you're looking at it with the slot and you can see all the holes there, we got a drill in it also. So again, it's a 5 16 slot and it's gonna be a total of 5.22 inches long from end to end. And we got one more thing we got to do too. I keep forgetting about. We got to cut these radiuses in here in the end, there on both ends. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Just in case you're wondering why I'm not using the drill chuck is because I don't have a half inch collet for that yet. So uh, with the <clears throat> with the drill chuck, it would have been too long and I couldn't use a, the collet because I didn't have a half inch collet. That's what I meant. So we're using an end mill holder. I'm gonna use the power feed on the knee to feed it. Pretty tough stuff there. All right. That was pretty simple though, right there. <laughs> All right, we're ready to start doing some milling now. I'm using a half inch roughing end mill in the uh, end mill holder. So what I've done is I've run down here to the required distance that I need and I touched off and we're going to run it back down here. That'll give me a visual reference to look at as I'm milling in addition to the uh, digital readout down there, okay? So that's our, it's going to be our zero point there. I've got the Z axis set at zero. And we're going to, let's see. Let's try a half inch cut with that, okay? So it's not rubbing. I want to hook up my uh, cool mist right here. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting. I'm gonna start off with a slower feed rate, and then we'll ramp it up as we need. That's a half inch depth of cut there.
I'm running two inches a minute now. Uh, that did pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and I want to get my shot back over here and go ahead and suck these chips up. Come down and we'll restart that. All right, that cut worked worked well. Uh, we got her cleaned up. That's just from running the cutter back down to our zero spot, uh, zero point there. So I know I've got one inch, 270 is the depth I got to take there. So we're going to take another 500 depth of cut and then we'll finish it off with around 270, 275 thousand. It's just a different angle of the slot there for you. You know, our, our one, inch, one inch depth there. So we got just over another quarter inch that we need so we can bust through. Okay. I just, I don't like the camera on this side because the, cool, the, the coolant's blowing this way. So just wanted to give you a different angle there. Should be the bottom of the cutter. Okay. I'm going an additional five thousandths. I get in there and clean that slot out we'll take a look at it all right our slot worked out pretty good it just did break through on the other side there <clears throat> and I had to do it that way because the slot actually runs underneath the fixed jaw right here okay you can see there's scale stops right there all right so I don't have a long enough 9 16 end mill to mill this slot so we're going to use a half inch and luckily I've got this pretty good uh, extra length half inch end mill here so we're gonna use this to uh, do our finish I'm gonna attempt to uh, cut the side you know the full depth there 
and see how it reacts. But we're going to do, we're only going to take half. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, 15 thousandths per side. Okay. And then if it cuts good, then we'll finish it out, which will be 30 thousandths per side that we're going to move it. So let me get it fired up and, uh, and the depth set in there. Okay. All right, I see chips down there. I guess it's cutting it. Okay, we're coming up on the end here for the first side. Getting ready to stop it. We're gonna we're gonna pull it to us and go 15 on the other side. All right, walk it up in here. Okay. Come on, baby. Okay. Lock the table. Feed. We're cutting again. That mill's doing a good job. I want to get in here and measure the groove width. Okay, we're at 527 on the width. So that's my Michitoya groove mic. Uh, another way that you can accurately measure that is to use adjustable parallels you can stick those in there and then mic it but uh, i like to use this too all right so 527 so we got 33 thousandths that we need to come out of there so i'm basically going to repeat what we just did okay i'm going to go another 15 thousandths so we're going to go 16 and a half thousandths on each side in addition to what i just took okay and that should put us around 560 and i know that's going to be clearance there's a yoke that goes in here, and I'm sure that's gonna give that some clearance uh, for that yoke to slide. I would have to guess that that yoke's probably gonna be a half inch wide, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, finish out our cuts right here. And once we do, that part will be done. Make it our first pass. Everything's doing pretty good. Trying to clear some of them chips out of the bottom there. Okay, running back down the other side there. Okay, we just finished out our cuts there. Let's see what we did. Say so that's dead nuts on nine sixteenths, five sixty two and a half. That's it, man. 
print calls for 560. You know, we've got a tolerance there, and I, and I looked at the other print. The yoke that goes in here was milled to 0 0.540, so that should give us uh, approximately 10 thousandths per side for that, you know, to have some movement to move around in there, okay? So, I think we've done it, guys. Uh, let me clean this up, and we'll, uh, we'll check it out, okay? So there's there's where we are so far guys we're getting we're getting real close so the slot turned out pretty good i did some deburring i used the the noga deburring tools and deburred it and i went in there and did some uh, fine finishing filing just to slick out that slot on uh, both sides of it right there So we're well on our way. It's starting to finally take shape and look like a uh, one of those toolmaker's vices. So the uh, the next steps we've got to we still got to put our holes through it here. We've got a series of holes, and then we've got to mill some radiuses down here on the ends. Okay, and I think the final the final is going to be to uh, mill some chamfers along the the edges. Okay.